Hi, it's Agnes and another health healing story from the book The Cosmic Power Within You by Joseph Murphy. So, it goes like this. Her belief in one cosmic power healed her. Recently, I talked to a woman who was being treated with ultrasonic therapy and aspirin for arthritis. She had been praying but she said, every time I begin to think of health, harmony and peace, the thoughts of incurability, pain and deformity fill my mind and I can't think of health. The reason for this was that since infancy, she had been conditioned to a belief in the incurability of many diseases. And since she believed that arthritis is crippling and cannot be healed, she seemed to lack the capacity to deliberately incisively and decisively choose health, harmony and wholeness. She was able to neutralize this attitude, however, after she followed my instructions. I explained to her that the first thing she had to do was disabuse her mind of a belief in two powers, one causing sickness and the other determining the degree of health. She actually believed in those two powers and failed to perceive the simple truth that the cause of all sickness, all poverty, all misery and suffering in the world is the rather prevalent belief in them, which causes the mind to be double-minded and unstable in all of its ways. She decided to go back on the beam, so to speak, and bring in her mental field of vision into focus, she affirmed boldly. I believe once and for all, that there is but one cosmic power, which is all wholeness, beauty and perfection. I know and believe that the greatest secret in life is to know and to believe in the one power, which is infinitely good and perfect. I consciously claim that the healing love of this power, which created me, is now dissolving any deposits in my body, which do not belong there. I am a temple of the living God and I glorify God in my body. As she continued in this prayer, her faith in the one power increased and her belief in an evil power gradually diminished until her conviction of the one cosmic power reigned supreme in her mind. She continued with the ultrasonic therapy and gradually her limbs became more subtle. No, not subtle, supple. All the calcareous deposits characteristics of arthritis were eliminated and the ed edema subsided and her body became a channel for the one presence and the one power which always moves as beauty, love and peace. Her enthronement of the one power in her mind and her belief that it was functioning in her body neutralized everything that contradicted this in her subconscious mind. Lovely. Thank you, Joseph. So if you again have something that is not working well within your bodily condition, the little treatments, as Joseph Murphy would call them, the little prayer written down, affirmed, read twice a day, three times a day, whatever time you have, at least twice a day, morning and night, to neutralize what's going on in the mind, to therefore then the mind will have a different impact on the bodily condition. So I hope you've enjoyed those stories today, the previous YouTube and this one, two health stories. And I again will put the health playlist down below for those of you that want a bit more information or a bit more learning on that subject and that's it for today lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube